I'll just simply say um, it's um, unusual times calls for unusual ways of being able to deal with things. And so I'll just simply tell you that I'm excited about being with you today and talking to you about the, the things that we're going to be sharing with you. So with that, I'll just simply tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, just so you know, you're not talking to a neophyte. I'm also a diver. I've been diving since I was 10 years old um, and um, grew up in the diving industry, actually in retail. Um, have four retail stores, uh, as well as I also was part of NASDS when they started and, um, and then actually bought NASDS back in 1993 and then merged that company with SSI in 1999. In 2014, we sold the company to Head Sports, which is tennis racket, ski, the whole nine yards. And the reason we did that was not for us to all walk away, but for us to actually do exactly what we're going to share with you, which is our digital product. So I'll ask all of you if you have a cell phone, and I'm sure your answer is going to be the same for everybody. And that is, yes, I have a cell phone. And so I'll challenge you all that if you don't have this device today, you can get the SSI app free of charge. Just simply go to the app store, don't care if it's iOS or whether it's Android, and type in my SSI, it will pop up and you can actually load the app on your phone. You'll be able to do literally everything from there using the app, whether it's to take a program, or whether it's to look at your certification cards, to log a dive digitally, to do anything that you wanna do, you can do right from your device. And the reason that we're here is because this is where most people live today. It's either gonna be on a mobile device, it's gonna be on a tablet, or it's going to be on your computer, but at the end of the day, we access these silly little things about 125 times a day on average. Well, if that's the case, this is where we want to be as far as our customers concerned, which is you. So I challenge you, if you don't have this device today, go to, to the App Store and get this. It'll actually give you some heads up to what we're going to be talking about just in a couple of minutes. So. With no further ado, let me actually share with you my screen. And can everybody now see my screen? Yes. Good. So we're going to be talking about our digital suite of products and why that's so important, especially right now for all of you that are divers, um, or want to be divers or very experienced divers and some of the things that you can be doing while you're spending this time at home. So under that digital suite, we have to look at a couple of things that have changed. Number one, in every crisis, there's a chance. Um, I know we're all at a place where we're all going to pull our hair out by the time we actually get back out into the public and especially get back out into going diving. My gills are drying up and I can't wait to get back in the water, to be quite honest with you. And, um, and looking forward to actually getting back into the, the salt and the sand and the, the sun and just having some uh, experiences with colorful reefs and colorful fish and, and enjoying life again. But with that, we also have to be mindful of where we are today. What's going on? What can we do to, to, to continue, if you will, the sport that we all love? And one of those ways is by doing some specialty training while you're sitting at home, not doing anything else. So with that, let's look at a couple of things. Traditionally, what you would do is you would actually go to a dive center, you would sign up for a course, and then you would take that course with an instructor, and then you would go and you would get certified, no matter what that course was going to be, whether it's going to be an open water course all the way up to a professional course, that was the traditional way of us doing everything. Well, because of what's going on in our country, 
we've had to change the way that we do business. And so what we've been doing is we've been spending our time creating new ways to get our divers still continuing to do the things that they love in the sport, which is learning more about what they can do on their next vacation. So that change is learning to dive virtually. And what I mean virtually, I don't mean that you get to do the course by yourself because that's no fun. Certainly you can get the educational materials and you can go through the digital program at home. That's what we call home study. Certainly you can do that. But what we would rather have is somebody like myself right now talking to all of you. We'd like to have one of those instructors actually sharing the experience that he has with you and what would be the hidden details and the hidden information that you're not seeing in those materials. What do I mean by that? Well, there's a lot of things that we talk about in the materials that the instructor has a greater knowledge of. So what he would do is talk about the vital and the important information that you would want to know when you go on your next vacation. So are there some programs that we can take at home that we don't need a pool or we don't need a confined water environment that we can still enjoy what we're doing? Well, certainly there are. So let's look at just what those programs might be. I'm sure everybody on the phone being a diver understands that we have to protect what we love. It's all our fiduciary responsibility, but we also want to know about everything that's in the ocean. Well, SSI has six marine ecology programs that you can take right there in the comfort of your home. And then you can have an instructor take you through that program right there in the comfort of your home. First is coral identification. I don't know about you, but in all of my years of diving, I'm still seeing corals that I don't know what they are, and then I have to go find out that information. So what we did is we said, let's make sure that we can give anybody and everybody that's interested, whether it's a hard coral or whether it's a soft coral, whatever these things are, let's give them the information so that when they're diving, they understand how long it took to grow it. The, 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 um, the fragileness of this coral uh, and, and the, the fact that we are the keepers of this coral to look at and understand that it is a living animal. This was a fascinating thing for me when we put this together. And so coral identification was one of my favorites. Then we go into fish identification because there's so many oceans and so many species of fish that you go in the water and you think, well, that's a, a horse-eyed jack. Well, in another ocean, it's not a horse-eyed jack, it's something else. And how many species of sharks are there? And, um, and every other type of fish that you can think of, whether it's a saddleback butterfly or it's a, um, a spotted drum or it's a blue-ringed octopus. I mean, whatever those things are, this is a way for you to really get a lot of knowledge and then get tested on what your knowledge is so that you have a full understanding when the next time that you actually go diving and you get to, get to use this information and be excited about it. Same thing goes for marine ecology. To actually learn um, more about the ecology behind everything that happens inside the ocean. You know, we talk about the environment a lot and we talk about protecting the environment a lot but how can we play a role? How can an individual diver be a person that plays a role in making sure that they're doing their part? Well, they can only do that by making sure they have enough information that they in fact do become responsible every time they enter the water. So marine ecology is another incredible program. Shark ecology, my favorite. Um, I don't know about you, but uh, if you've been on any dives whatsoever and you get the opportunity to see a shark, I have to tell you it's my favorite diving in the entire world. I'm, on, I'm scheduled. I'm hoping that the trip still goes, but I'm scheduled to be on the uh, Okeanos 2 aggressor in uh, August to dive Cocos again. It's been a long time since I've been to Cocos, and I'm excited about going back. 
uh, just simply because of the fact is it's just full of every kind of shark you can think of, except for the great white. Um, you know, I'm not sure that I've uh, ever been in a situation where that was the case, although being in a cage would be okay to see the great white as well. But every other shark I pretty much have seen and absolutely enjoy their grace, their beauty for the time that I actually get to spend with them. So I will simply tell you, shark ecology by far is my favorite program of all. If you're a sea turtle fan, I would tell you that the sea turtle ecology program is another incredible program. Just simply because once again, we all think that their leatherbacks are their whatever, but at the point that you understand the different species of the turtles and the way that they actually evolve and the way that they actually have their babies and all the things that go with it, you get more excited about being with these sea turtles. So sea turtle ecology is another incredible program for you to take. And recently, <laughs> as I call them, the flying nuns of the underwater world is the manta ray ecology program. Um, I have to tell you that um, I absolutely love, love diving with the manta rays. Um, it's probably one of my favorite things to do because I feel like I got a spaceship just hovering over my head, you know, when they're uh, in the water and their grace and their beauty and the way that they want to hang around and they're interacting with you just absolutely keeps me in awe the entire time I'm in the water. So I would simply tell you that manta ray ecology, if you're a manta ray person and you really like seeing the manta rays, then this is another program for you to get involved in. Now, what's the beauty of all this, everybody? All of these programs can be taken in the comfort of your home with an instructor virtually, and then you can even take the exam online. So that means that what we can do is that once again, if you have the app on your phone and you've registered for that program, that program will show up on your mobile device, whether it be a phone or whether it be a tablet or be the computer, it'll show up. You go through the entire program. At the end of every single section of the material is going to be a review section. And that review section is also going to make up the test, if you will, exam questions that you would take at the end of the program. Once you're done, then the instructor would go in and certify you in that program and that certification card would show up digitally on your device. So you can go and brag to all your friends about what you've done, even during this time when you can't actually walk into a physical facility or sit with an instructor, you can still do it. You're just doing it virtually as opposed to doing it with an instructor sitting in front of you. Isn't that cool? I think that's one of the coolest things that we offer and we do. And this is incredible that this is available to you during this particular time. So then, are there other things that you can do? Well, first off, let me ask, are there any questions that are popping up about what I've shared with you so far? Um, no, we had a couple of people uh, asking about, the, about the, the name of the app. It's my SSI, and that's the only questions we've gotten so far. So you're doing a good They're job. Asking about the app itself? Just the name of the app. Make sure that yeah, yeah, yeah. My SSI, either Dive SSI or My SSI, either one will get you what you're looking for. And again, it is available in iOS and or Android, either one. So Apple or Android, either one, they can find it. Okay? Good. Let's move forward. So then, one of my favorite programs, for anybody that's on the call that is over the age of 30, do you also know that one of the things that we lose efficiency of past the age of 30 <laughs> is our circulation? And we also know that as depth increases, pressure increases, and because we're breathing compressed air, as depth and pressure increases, what also increases in the bloodstream uh, and tissues of our body? And it's that little gas called nitrogen. So long many years ago, they came up with a gas called enriched air nitrox. Basically what they're doing is they're enriching the air with a higher percentage of oxygen. 
which means you have less nitrogen in the bloodstream and tissues. So if you're not diving nitrox, I will tell you it's available on all of the yachts for you to be able to use. And I would just simply tell you, it will not only give you um, a safer factor for you to be diving, it will also make you feel much better when you come out of the water, just simply because of the fact is your body's not working as hard to off gas, if you will, proper absorption and elimination of nitrogen. Therefore, you're not working quite as hard. And it will also um, give you increased bottom times based on a maximum operating depth. If you're not already nitrox certified, these things may not mean a whole lot to you. But if you are nitrox certified, then obviously this is something I would tell you that we go two levels in. We do nitrox 32 and we do nitrox 40. We cannot do nitrox 40 via a, uh, a webinar because we'd actually need to uh, do a little bit more testing for somebody if they wanted to go to a higher percentage of nitrogen, excuse me, of oxygen. So let's now look at what that means to you. So first off is we've updated our standards to where you don't have to be face to face with an instructor to in fact analyze the gas in order to get the certification. Normally, that would be the case, is that we would want to see you analyze that gas. However, what we would do is the diver must have a professional verify their gas before using it on their very first dive. So we've done two things to allow you to be able to take this program virtually until it's time for you to go diving. And obviously, this is something that Aggressor is very proud of, and they actually are very, I'm going to use the word anal about, and that is making sure that everybody signs off before they go in the water, what was the percentage of gas that you're using, and what was the maximum operating depth that you can dive to, and then in fact, you had to sign off and date it so that they knew exactly you knew what you were doing. This, in fact, will be the same as well. As well, you can take this exam online. We're trying to be um, as um, thoughtful, if you will, of the, the situation that we're all in, in order for you to be able to just to continue the sport that we all love. So nitrox, if you're not certified in nitrox, I will tell you the benefits are amazing, and I would tell you that that's something you want to get involved in. Uh, Doug, uh, can you explain exactly how someone would go about signing up for one of these courses? Yes, I, I most definitely can. The best thing to do is simply in your area, call one of the SSI training centers, and they will walk you right through all the details for you to be able to do that. However, in order for you to get started, simply go to the App Store, get the app, and then once you get the app, here, I'll just pull it up, and maybe I can show it to everybody. I'm not sure. There you'll see that when the logo loads on your phone, it, there's a little 50th anniversary. Yep, it's SSI's 50th year in business this year. And so, no, I've not been at SSI for 50 years. <laughs> but at the end of the day, just so you know, then the app will actually open up. And it, this is where you have to go in and you have to register and put your profile in there, your name, your address, your city, state, and zip, and all the good information that you would want, a picture of yourself, everything. But in order for you to actually get the product, what you want to do is call one of the training centers. They will sign you up for the product, and then that product will show up on your device. It's just simply you registering after you've called the store. They will give you access to that product and sign you up for a program. Does that answer the question, Cole? It does, and we do have one comment from Nikki saying this is the this app is the best thing since sliced bread. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would say that uh, I, we appreciate that comment. We believe it's the the uh, greatest thing since sliced white bread for sure. Um, it has made life so simple for everybody, and I can't tell you everything that this app does on this call. But I would simply challenge all of you to get the app. And once you get the app, I think what you'll find is, is that it's so intuitive 
and it does so many things that you'll be surprised. For example, if you're one that's really missing the ocean, <laughs> under our videos and events, there are 360 videos in there that you can actually swim through the wreck of the Rhone <laughs> with virtual goggles on and you can just enjoy diving while you can't be diving. We can at least get you to, to enjoy some of the things that we do, whether it's in Raja Ampat or whether it's in Indonesia or other dive sites or Truck Lagoon or whatever, there's all kinds of 360 videos in there as well. So there are just many things to this app that you're not seeing that I'm not able to tell you about on this particular call, okay? Yes, I can get very excited about this app. <laughs> then there's another program, and the program is called Science of Diving. And for some of you that are on the call, the word science might run you off, and I hope that it doesn't. Um, it is a fantastic program that deals with a greater degree of the physics and the physiology of diving. You know, they say the better educated we are, the safer we're always going to be because the information that we have is real information and not myths. So we replace fears and fantasies with correct information. And every time we do that, we simply make our diving experiences better and better. This not only deals with the physics and the physiology, it also deals with a greater degree of equipment, the environment, um, a lot more of the science that you don't even see or understand. And so what we've done is we simply said, let's see if there's some way we can actually introduce this program to everybody and let them experience what it's like to go through these physics and physiologies and develop a greater understanding, if you will, of being underwater. So with that, this is good for new divers, it's good for experienced divers, and it's even good for somebody who's looking to become a professional. You know, some of you on the call might be um, thinking someday that you wanna become a dive master, or an assistant instructor, or you wanna be an instructor, or maybe you just want to have more information to where when you go diving on your own, you're better prepared. Whatever that is, this is the program that offers an in-depth knowledge of everything involved in diving. What we're doing is we're giving these materials to everyone for free. Now, that does not mean that your instructor is going to teach you the program for free. It just means that SSI is donating the materials to you for free. This program is generally taught over four or five sessions, just depending on the, the size of the group and the number of questions. It's going to be about a four to five session program. Generally run about two to two and a half hours per session. And again, the instructor leading the program will take you through the details to give you a lot more in-depth information and talk about the vital and important information that you need to, to remember and to be able to use on your next diving vacation. These materials are free through June 1, 2020. So that is a great opportunity for you to go to your, dive, to your local SSI Dive Center, sign up for this program, the materials are free, and you'll pay a tuition fee. And it, it, I'm sure that that's gonna vary in every store, but regardless, you at least get the materials from SSI for free. You have one comment here, um, Doug, saying that, I cannot say enough great things about the Science of Diving course as an SSI Dive Master. I love this class. It's coming from Dave R. Wonderful. That, thank you very much. Uh, I'll, I'll just simply say that for everybody on the call, um, I, I have to uh, mimic that same comment. Um, one of the things that I find in, in diving today is that we're scared to talk about uh, the, the cool things, you know, that actually do transpire every time we go underwater. And there really isn't anything for us to be concerned about simply because the fact is, is the more we know, the safer we are, period. 
and uh, and understand having a better understanding is going to do nothing but give you a greater respect and a, and a a safer way for you to dive the next time you enter the water. We got okay? one other good, good question that just come in, Doug. Yes. Uh, how does ecology class make me a better diver, in your opinion? What would you say? Well, first off, the, the ecology program. Um, there, to me, there's a program that you should take prior to the ecology programs that everybody on this call, if you haven't done it, you should. And that is um, perfect buoyancy. Um, when we understand the, the dynamics of the fact that we don't need as much lead as we sometimes start off on the surface with, and that we understand that our enjoyment of the sport, our attitude, our swimming attitude of 14 to 20 degrees, if you will, of, of the person that's in the water. Um, I would just simply tell you that when we, when we learn all of the glide path, if you will, to diving, we increase our enjoyment by far. Then we can actually stop, we can hover, we can do everything that we need to do to truly be able to examine the coral, for example. If you really stopped and you really looked at this coral and you really understood it, the first thing you would want to do is make a night dive and go down and actually sit as close as you could without harming anything and put your light on it and actually hold it about four to six inches away and watch the activity start to happen on this coral. You'll be amazed. Um, how does it make you a better diver? By understanding what the fish was and what that, why, why was that fish there as opposed to in another place? Why was that seahorse there as opposed, as opposed to being in a different place? These are all things, in my humble opinion, that just simply make you a diver that's not looking 200 feet in front of you. You're looking at what's in front of you, and you're truly starting to slow down and enjoy the aspects of the reef that we sometimes just fly over because we're looking for the big creatures, right? We want the pelagic to come swimming in because that's super exciting. I agree with you, but that's not every single dive we go on. So the more minute we become with the information to where we can actually enjoy what's in front of us, the better the dive will always be. Does that answer your question, Cole? I think so. Good. All right, moving on. Now, can you do more? Well, certainly all programs. You can actually do the academics virtually from home. It doesn't matter if it's an open water program or whether it's a dive guide program or you want to be a person that wants to lead dives or you're a person that really wants to go and explore much further and you want to do extended rain nitrox diving so that you really want to get, I guess, if you will, the first level of technical diving, this is where you would actually go. And I hate to use the word technical because I don't think any of it necessarily is technical. It's just more of what the equipment configuration is and the depth that we're going to dive to a sports divers operation. So to me, it's all based on you and what you want to do with this sport. And this is just another way for you to look at it from open water all the way through to every other program. We can do them all. They can all be completed. It's at least the academics until we can actually get in the water. Hopefully that's not going to be too much longer <laughs> before we actually get to get in the water. I know. Now, virtual classroom options. If you don't know these already, everybody, I'm just going to share some ideas with you. You're on a Zoom, uh, if you will, uh, virtual classroom today, but there's many. Um, there's WhatsApp, there's FaceTime, there's Skype, there's uh, Google 365, there's GoToMeeting, there's Webinar Jam, there's all kinds of uh, venues that people are using today simply because the fact is anybody that's in the training business they're having to do everything virtually so these are just some of the the uh, tools that we're using and the options for you and a lot of these are just simply that the, the instructor that's setting up the classroom for you he makes it to where everybody can see everybody unlike what Cole did here because we have a much bigger group 
Um, normally when you have a class size of six to eight people, it's really easy for everybody to be on the screen together and, and share the screen and see exactly what it is that we're talking about. Because when the instructor comes in, he's going to be talking about the vital and important information after you've already done the digital home study. So that makes it a whole lot more interactive, if you will, to where the mics are open and you can actually ask questions. And there are uh, active classroom sessions where we really want to engage the people because the more you engage, obviously, the more you understand. And so keep that in mind as well and what it is that the instructor would use in order for you to be able to do that. Doug, what about uh, refreshers? Uh, refreshers for what type of a program would that be? Uh, I, I think they're asking just in general, like maybe Nitrox, getting a refresher on Nitrox or any of the other. Really, really, really simple. If you already are a certified Nitrox diver, you simply pick up the phone and call the, the local dive center, tell them what you are already, and then I'm sure that if they've got a program that's going to be taught, they would just simply uh, bring you into that program for a small fee and, and then get you a, ref a refresher about that program and all of the key factors to it you know, in order for you to get updated. If you wanted to get the actual program, um, let me give you, a, th this is actually a very good question. Uh, let me give you something to think about. When you have the SSI app, okay, you get the materials and these materials are yours for life. That simply means that every time we add new information to those materials, your app will be updated with the latest and the greatest. It is real time all the time. So it may be that some of you that have already gone through a program once before, you may want to upgrade and get these materials to put them on your app and, and they'll always be there for you. Whether it's nitrox tables or whatever else, it'll always be there for you. And, um, and what I love about digital, as I said earlier, is that Every time we make a word change, that's going to be updated in the app. And it also is important for you to note, even though most everybody on this call is probably speaking English, um, there's a lot of people that speak broken English that may not come from our country, they come from other countries, and they would rather take their program in their own native tongue. Well, guess what? We have most of these programs, actually 68 of our programs are in 41 languages. So we make it really convenient and easy for you to be able to use this app. And again, if you want to do a refresher, I would just simply call the store and see what you could do with them. I know that if you um, were on a yacht and that came up, they would simply, if they were teaching a program already anyway, they would just simply do an update with you and then you would get the updated materials and the um, updated certification card. Okay. Any other questions? Uh, I think that's all of them so far. Good. So at least everybody, you're still doing it face to face if you're using what I say to do, which is small groups, and everybody can actually interact and talk to one another. It makes it a really nice um, class to teach. I've been teaching uh, many classes online, and I have to tell you, it is nice to be able to open up the mic and be able to have everybody um, speak whatever question that they have and, and have other people talking to one another. It's really kind of a nice way to do things. So you can do that with small groups. It's just hard to do it with a large group because there are just too many voices going at one time, and it's hard to control. But keeping it small makes it really easy. What's next? So social distancing equals physical distancing, but it does not mean isolation. You know, yes, we are, if you will, isolated to where we are today and understanding that that isolation is sometimes annoying. <laughs> um, you know, I have to tell you that um, at least this way, we, we've done many family things by using these virtual webinars because at least this way, we, don't, we can still be social. So I would just simply tell you, don't look at it as being isolated. 
look at it as being a way for you to continue something that you actually love to do. More than ever, we need to have connection with other, others. I couldn't agree with that more. Uh, I mean, just to go to the gas station and get gas or go to the grocery store for, you know, just to pick something up and put it in the back of the car is kind of a nice thing to do to get out of the house. So keep in mind, we have a social connection with our training centers. And that's what this is all about is to keep that connection of what it is that we all love to do, which is to go diving. So. It's your time, if you haven't done this already, it's your time to leave your comfort zone. If you will, get out of that box that you're in and just realize there is another way for you to do this and your dive centers are, are absolutely looking forward to working with you and training you. So simply get out there, get on the phone, say, yep, I wanna take this course because it's a dry program and I don't need the water and I can do this right now and I don't have to wait and I can keep my excitement level high about when I'm going diving again. So get out there and get it done. To do that, I have to tell you, I'm very excited to tell everybody on the call that right now, if you get out and you go take an SSI program, you will get a $300 travel voucher just for learning. That more than pays for your course. I'll promise you that. And so I'm super excited to tell you that we partnered with Aggressor Adventures. And this is, I, I, I couldn't even begin to tell you how elated I was when the phone rang and it was Wayne Brown, who's the CEO of the company, telling me he wanted to do something with us in order to keep people actively involved until they could actually get back on another yacht. $300 travel voucher. I don't know about you, but I have to tell you, I wanted to take one of my own programs just so I could get a $300 voucher. I mean, that's kind of cool that, that they would even think about doing something that. So any one of the specialties, any one of the specialties that you take, you simply go to your training, your SSI training center, and once you're through with the program, they will give you obviously a receipt when you've signed up for the course. And once you're done, you just simply submit that to Aggressor, and guess what you'll get? You'll get a travel voucher. Or that travel voucher can be given to you via the training center that you went to. So either way, you win. And this is also good, everybody, from April 21 through May 30, 2020. So as of today, you've got another 30, actually 30, supposed to be 31, May 31. <laughs> I made a mistake there. Sorry about that, everybody. Uh, it's supposed to say May 31. But anyway, point being is, is that you've got 31 days uh, to get this, these programs taken. And then guess what you get? From July 1 to December 31, 2021, and there's no blackout dates for you to use these travel vouchers. Now, how cool is that? I mean, I don't even know what to say. It's just exciting. <clears throat> Definitely. Okay, so, and keep in mind, everybody, if you simply buy a specialty course from an SSI training center, you will get this $300 voucher to use on the aggressor trips. So let's look at which aggressors are available to you. So there's Sri Lanka, uh, there's the Bahamas, Belize, Cayman, Galapagos, Indo, the Nile Queen River Cruise, the Cocos, Palau, Rajan Pot, Roitan, Socorro, Guadalupe, and Turks and Caicos. By the way, if you haven't been to Socorro, my favorite, um, I can tell you how many, uh, how many favorite dives I have in the world, everybody, but that's one of my favorites as well, especially for the manta rays. Uh, but all of these are amazing. I mean, truly, this is a, a major uh, amount of yachts that are offering this to you. So if you're not signed up, I would tell you get signed up for especially and earn yourself a travel voucher. There is only one per 
person. <laughs> so don't think you're going to go to take six programs and we're going to give you six $300 vouchers. That's not going to happen. You that get was my one. next question to you. <laughs> <laughs> you get one per person is what you get, everybody. We got some students. And you can send the receipt to accounting at aggressor.com and the voucher will be mailed directly to you with a copy of your receipt. Okay. And they're, these vouchers are redeemable through the SSI Dive Center as well. So example would be, is if you are already booked on a trip that's coming up, um, and maybe it's coming up in the future, it's in October, it's in December, or maybe it's in 2021, and you're doing a group trip with a store, uh, certainly you can use that voucher as well, everybody. If you decide to not travel individually, you can do that as well. But it can also be done through the Dive Center. Remember, keep a positive mind, positive vibes, and a positive life because we are all in this together. I know it's a cliche today because you're hearing it from every angle of your life. But the truth of the matter is, our little diving industry truly is in this together. And we're all waiting for that day that we can go back out and get back to doing what we absolutely love. And that's blowing the bubbles in the clear blue sea and uh, enjoying seeing that those colorful reefs and colorful fish. It only works when we're all doing those things together. Um, I have to tell you, I've truly enjoyed being with all of you and spending a few minutes with you. And I'm not going anywhere. I'll be here to answer any questions that you have. But I want to say before we go, thank you so very much for sharing your time with me. It's been an absolute pleasure for me. Any questions, Cole? All right, let's, uh, let's turn the share screen off. And we'll go ahead and I'll type here in the chat box if we've got any more additional questions to ask before we end the call. Let's see what we come through with. We've got a lot of people while we're waiting on questions saying if they're downloading that now, uh, here's someone saying <laughs> wonderful. They're doing it. They're, they're going to sign up for the ecology series. Oh, wonderful. Uh, Ron Peters, uh, he's a frequent diver with us said great job. Very informative. Thank you very much, Ron. I appreciate your comment. Um, Andrew said, at what age should I start to teach my kids to dive? Would you say? Uh, 10 years old. Uh, actually, Andrew, you can start them at eight years old in our um, uh, scuba rangers program. Uh, but, um, and that's really to get them used to all aspects of diving. And then when they're 10 years old, you can actually get them open water diver certified. And uh, max depth that they can dive then is up to 40 feet. Um, and then you can, uh, they get to 12 years old, uh, you can get their junior certification, that's 12 to 15 years old, and they can dive to a maximum depth of 60 feet. So, but you can start them earlier than that, and it's a pool program only, but boy, oh boy, I'll tell you, the young ones do really, really, really well. They catch on quick, and they, uh, they, they take to it like a fish in water. And uh, I'm, I'm always excited about seeing the kids. Um, I put my twin granddaughters in the pool when they were six years old. And I shouldn't be telling you that, but at the end of the day, I put them in the water at six years old and had, you know, BCs and, and cylinders and regs with them and did all the exercises with them. And they took to it like fish out of water for true. And so I'll just simply say that, um, yeah, 10 years old is a great time to get them started. That's when I learned to dive. And um, I'll just tell you that I'm older than that now and that <laughs> I've been diving all of my life. So, Yeah, I'll definitely add my uh, nephew just took that ranger for us and he's, he loved it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, here's a question. Uh, this is kind of a long question. Um, he says, I'm curious about React Right CPR, AFib, and O2 provider courses. I know the tests are available online, but for my pro status, I need to re-up these skills every two years. My two-year timer expires this month. Will not, be, will not being able to take the course now impact my pro status? No. Actually, what we're, we're doing is that we're, we're um, 
very much aware that we're going to have several people that are going to be in that same boat. Um, so please just reach out to your training center and let them know so that they can make a note also inside your profile to make sure that nothing happens to your active status that's going on today. However, you can do all academic review uh, virtually, and then you would have to do your practical application um, later when you can actually get face to face, which hopefully won't be too terribly long, especially with the limited number of people and the limited distance. And yes, I understand you got to be able to perform CPR and O2 and all those things. And so that's what would be the practical application pieces that would have to be left out. And I know you might have answered this earlier. This might be from someone who popped on the call later. Uh, do you have to sign up for the classes through an actual store? You mentioned calling the Yes, you, you, the easiest way for you to do this is to simply call the training center and what they're going to do is they're going to tell you um, go in and create a profile in, in, in my SSI and, uh, and you can do that via divessi.com um, and once you've done that and you've signed up for a course, then they will give you access to that course. Once you've done that part, that program will show up on your uh, de mobile device and you can do one of two things. You can actually download that directly to your mobile device and you can take that program offline. So that means you don't have to be connected to the internet at any time while you're taking that program. And then you can answer every quiz, everything that, do that goes with that program. And then in order for that to all show up, in your profile and for the dive center, you would have to go and go back online and make sure that's uploaded so that we can actually see your progress. Every instructor with SSI can see your progress in dive SSI. Just by pulling you up, we can tell all of our students whether or not they've done <laughs> the study because it tells us how many pages you've looked at, it also tells us whether or not you've done the, the quizzes at the end of the, of the sections. We know everything about what you're doing. But if you do it offline, just make sure that you go back and get online uh, and sync that up to the cloud so that it shows up in your profile. Okay. <clears throat> well, that looks like that's all the questions, Doug. So um, I, I think that's it. I think you did a great job. Well, thank you very much. I've enjoyed being with everybody once again. And um, I look forward to the day that we can all be together going diving. And uh, I hope I see you on an aggressor yacht at some point, um, because that would be, and please come up and introduce yourself uh, personally so that I can actually uh, say I've been diving with you. That would be wonderful. We do have someone here saying, save them a spot on the Cocos boat. Okay, I can do that, by the way. So just let me know you want to go. Um, you can reach out to me, by the way, um, via uh, my email address. So everybody on the call, if you want to reach out to me, you're welcome to. It's Doug, let me back up, stop. D-M-C-N-E-E-S-E -E -E at divessi.com. So that's all lowercase, no spaces, no periods, dmcneese at divessi.com. And I'm happy to answer any questions I possibly can for you. And uh, yeah, I'll save you a spot on the Cocos. Be happy to. <laughs> All right. Well, to wrap up, guys, I want to uh, read our upcoming schedule um, for our next Zoom series. Uh, May 5th, we have Mike and Mike. Uh, the Marine Photographers doing a course that's going to be on, yeah, May 5th, 3, 3 o'clock. May 7th, 3 o'clock, we have Richard Weiss, um, explorer and author. Uh, May 12th, we have Les Stroud, Survivor Man. Um, let's see. On May 14th, we have CEO Wayne Brown and Philippines owner Aaron Lerman going to give a, a breakdown of the new Philippines aggressor. Um, on May 19th, the operations team of uh, Larry Speaker, Jay Roberts, and Jeff McNutt will be giving a presentation. That's actually at 12 o'clock noon um, Eastern Standard Time about the 
the CRS program we've been doing, the CRS initiative, which is the clean, refresh, and sanitize, and a little bit about the operations going on. And last but not least, May 21st, we have uh, Samantha Whitcraft, uh, conservation biologist, uh, scheduled. And we, we have some talks of some new ones coming. We've uh, seen a good feedback on these, and we appreciate you guys watching. So stay safe out there, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.